Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to solve another general navigation question with the chart in <coughs> involved. So we have uh, a figure and uh, we have two view, actually a VOR and a DME and the aircraft that is heading um, 270 magnetic and both DME distances are decreasing. So first let's start by locating the, the stations. So first we start with the VOR, 5354. So we go here, 53, this is 53, as you can read it here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 53. So it's somewhere over here, I think this is it, yes. So this is common VR, we will make a small circle here, so yeah, we don't lose it. And then we are looking for CRN DME, which is 5318, 5318. There we go, it's right here. We'll make a circle as well. So we have these two stations, and we have um, a DME fix of 30 nautical miles from this VOR, so 30 nautical miles. So how can we know how many nautical miles it is 30 nautical miles? So you see here we have a, a scale. So we go here till 30, which is 291. In aviation exam, this one can show you the the distance, and this is just a straight line. So let's cross check. It's always good to double check the source. So here it's 10, 20, 30. So we have 30 nautical miles, 299. How much was here? 30 nautical miles. 296, more or less the same. It's not a huge difference. So we do like 296. So from here, from ConVR, we have 296. There we go. We do one to the south. 298. One here. 295, 297, it's okay. So normally we would do a circle here and it would be very easy, but I heard in the Spanish CA they're not uh, allowing students to use this tool, which is very weird. So we're gonna still use, but you still, uh, you're still allowed to use straight lines. So let's continue with the straight lines. I'm gonna do a few more. 296. Do one more here. 296. Another one. 296. There we go. So as you can see, you can you can form like a circle. Is not the same as using uh, the circle method, but hey, if you're not supposed to use that, you can always use this one. So you see, it's more or less the same if you do a circle. So let's go back to the second uh, station, the CRN DME. It's 25 nautical miles. So now let's check 25 nautical miles. You can either check it here, 20. This is 20, 22, 24, 25 nautical miles is like uh, 244. And we check here on this meridian 25, 250, 250 should be fine. All right, so then we go to this station and we, we do 250. 48 is fine. 250. Two forty seven two forty something two forty six. Anyway, here you can see where the circle would be, and let's do this other side two forty seven. 47 is fine. Alright, so we can we can make the circle now. 
should be something like this and here should be something oops, like this so as you can see we have an intersection here and another one here but of course if you can use circles I, I have another video on uh, doing there we go or less like this I have another video that I'm using a pencil on a paper simulating the actual exam you can find the the link in the description as well so now uh, let's finish the the problem you have a heading of 270 so let's make the airplane airplane is like this there we go and the heading is 270 it's wrong of course it should be straight like this but that's fine so the distances are decreasing so if we are here the distances are decreasing because we are getting closer to the station so the distances are decreasing if we are here and we're still continuing the distances are increasing so it's incorrect so this one is the correct one now let's find the coordinates this is 53 10 20 30 53 30 and this is 8 8 10 20 21 let's say 8 21 so the correct answer 53 30 as we said 53 8 20 a20 West, this one cannot be, so it's this one with this one. Alright, this is how you solve the question with uh, unavailable tools in the Madrid uh, CA. So, please subscribe to the channel if you think this uh, video was useful and uh, follow me on Instagram. The description uh, link is below. In the, I mean, the Instagram uh, link is in the description below. Patriot Pilot, and uh, don't forget. Practice makes it better. Good luck for your exams and see you in the cockpit. Have a good day.